gotta be on the water with my favorite look. My doctor done told me that there ain't no cure. I got this fishing addiction. It's plain to see if I ain't out of fishing, it's gone a cure. Welcome to Minnesota. Hey, we're here for the International Eel Pout uh, Fishing Festival up in Walker, Minnesota. We got so the here. fishing supplies that we've got. Oh, far? yeah. <laughs> Every fisherman goes prepared, and uh, well, we may have, we may have to throw the luggage throw out. The luggage. Throw the luggage out. <laughs> Tom, when's the last time you got an eel pout? Uh, never. <laughs> Why don't you give me your invitation of an eel pout? I never caught an eel pout, Carl. I'm really sorry. Never been one. Hasn't even been drinking yet. Snowing. Stuff does not happen in Florida. Oh, Mr. K wants to talk to you more about the eel pout festival. Sir, how many eel pouts have you caught today? <laughs> what do we know where what is? Where the bikini contest is. Looks like up in that tent over there. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Ooh, that's the helicopter, dude. Oh, well, this is a big time operation. We get choppers, <laughs> track mobiles, ice houses going out. Third annual beer bowling contest, ladies and gentlemen. The team from uh, Minnetonka, which is Minnesota right now, is ruling the day. Their top bowler, Phil Hansen and Mary Olson, are kicking some serious <laughs> ass here today. Oh, it just, oh, it just it goes in the back hole for 15 points. Excellent job, Phil. <laughs> the Hansen brothers have ruled this game since its onset in early 2002. <laughs> <laughs> Those beer bottles empty or full? Those are empty, Carl. Those beer bottles are empty. You have to drink it first before you can throw it. That's now the they have a rookie division where they have the full <laughs> beer bottles. They just, we got a penalty here. You put a foot on it. There's a foot. Uh oh, foot penalty. You have to drink it. <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> are we gonna come back for the finals? <laughs> yeah, put back here Saturday morning, 7:30 a.m. for the beer finals. All right. <laughs> Looks like the uh, last hole here in this last course, someone put their head in and barfed, I think, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me later. <laughs> We're at the Freaking Eel Pal Festival. <laughs> Festival. <laughs> Festival. This is uh, Main, Main Street. Street. Main Street. We got about. Uh, What's the speed limit here, Carl? I can't quite. About what? <laughs> 30 inches of ice here. Main Street. We're not on the road. We're about. Quarter mile out beyond the lake. Okay, the big uh, building, that's the uh, for all the ice house. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you why this is one of the few places in the world where <laughs> well, you drink a beer, it gets colder. <laughs> so, uh, Tom, uh, what's the object of our uh, weekend? We can catch an eel, Paul Caron. You can see I caught this one a little while ago. He's got a little dust on him. <laughs> This is a snow pout. Yeah. They're, they're, they're known that when they get really, when they get thirsty, they'll fly them out of the hole and slither across the ice looking for a beer. So the yeah, this guy here, unfortunately, he was on Main Street. And he got run over by the Confederate flag float. It just went by. And he's think, not looking real well. I think we're gonna keep that one and uh, call it as our, one of our yeah. catches. Oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, get those peas on there and go after them, okay? <laughs> All right. peas. Well, thanks for being here. with Kevin frozen Gunner peas. from no way. Uh, That's what he said, yeah. in Minnesota. Somewhere. How many did we catch last night, Tom? Well, uh, we caught and, uh, 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 hope to see uh, three, three, uh, three course light, two, uh, two Merlots, the bottles. They're big ones. And then we had a bunch of I think they were at least four pounders. Probably four pound bottles. So and then we got, uh, we finished it off with some uh, uh, shooters uh, of, uh, what was it, cream de cocoa and cream and peppermint schnapps. I think that was good. Followed by some Jack Daniels, big fish, Jack Daniels, big ones. <laughs> they were biting pretty good. That was a whopper, huh? Cause I'm a fishing fool. Come on, I know. Superheroes, no, not 
Jacket. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. This is good. Cause I'm a fishing fool. I've been to fishing school. Mark, they were here for the, uh, the uh, Coors Light Bikini Girls at this tournament here at the Hip Hop Festival. And you know, I tell you, Carl, I haven't seen so many, uh, so, so many morning casters in my home. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here we are driving on the lake. <laughs> Pretty awesome. We're about, I don't know, a couple hundred yards offshore. Most of the uh Hill powders are clearing out. It's Sunday morning. Yeah, sure looks, looks pretty empty out here, Carl. Tom, how many uh, Hill powder did you catch? <laughs> I did empty out my uh, my pockets this morning, though, Carl, in the hotel room, and I found eight uh, of the Guinness bottle tops. So I know we caught eight Guinness. <laughs> I did better than that, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Mine was a quarters like type of weekend. I prefer that over the uh, Hill pout, actually, because uh, I find them to be. Uh, crisp and refreshing and it versus slimy and uh, <laughs> ugly. There's a nice house. Nice house. Pack it up. Oh uh, yeah. What a what a garbage pile. There's a guy carrying this cooler. <laughs> Why do you need a cooler? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Wish we could find the uh the bar traveling room. bar again. That was the highlight of the weekend. Oh there's Johnny Law. These guys have a nice setup here. You got your hammock and that thatched roof cabana. Motel, motel. See you, man! <laughs> well, here we are, leaving the old Pout Central. We went and watched the way in. We didn't want to turn any of ours in to embarrass the rest of these uh, freaking northerners. Uh, but uh, we'll be back another year. You can toss the way back home, don't you think, Carl? Oh, yeah, yeah. We throw away 10 pounders all the time. We use those for bait, don't we? I think we do use them for bait. <laughs>